we need to have a talk. We need to have a talk about why hazelnuts and porter are such a great pairing. Hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. I'm Matthew. Today I will be drinking, and I hope I will be enjoying, the Western Red Brewing Hazelnut Porter from Polesbo, Washington. I have not had anything by Western Red Brewing before. I have had a couple hazelnut porters. My wife in particular very much enjoys her hazelnut porters. If you think about it, I mean just logic through for a second, hazelnut Probably one of the most uh, well-known hazelnut products would be um, that hazelnut spread that tastes like really good chocolate. And porters, generally being to the drier side of the roasty chocolate coffee family of beers, natural siblings pairing, natural coming together. It is natural to assume they'll work well together. Those words in maybe that order. Anyways. She's more likely than not to ask me to get those. Um, I want to say New Belgium has her her favorite, the one she she gets all the time. I can't remember off the off the top of my head the the which what the title of that beer, but it's no, it's Rogue. Rogue has it. Rogue's hazelnut porter. Yeah, she usually asks to have a six pack of that in the fridge. Good stuff. But when we were at another uh, uh, place to buy beer, store, that sort of thing, the other day, um, she saw these and thought she'd give it a try. And there's some left in the fridge. So I'm going to try it now. <laughs> uh, first off, I noticed that the head is relatively thin for a porter. I mean, not that there's a rule that says there has to be a strong, heavy, thick head. Um, but especially compared with recent porters I've had, those typically had a lot creamier, thicker head that was a lot um, more ready to come back to life when I swirled it around. This head definitely did come back to life, and it's hung around, but it, it didn't like come up in the volume that the others did. To the nose, this is... Hmm. What am I picking out? Um... Okay, so I'm picking up some hazelnut. I'm not picking up the like the hazelnut spread per se, which is probably a good thing. I don't pick up a lot of roastiness. This is more like dried apple, maybe. It smells moderately sweet in a kind of brown food sort of way. Uh, I think a, a pie crust separate from the pie that's been baked and has a little bit of sugar poured over the top, maybe that sort of thing. But quite juicy. Uh, yeah, like like dried apples, fruits, dried fruits, um, not really stone fruit darkness. This is more like dried pear, dried apple, that sort of family of things. Let's see how she tastes. Okay, okay, yeah. I'm picking up the the hazelnut spread, the Nutella kind of flavor to this. Uh, it's there. There's, it feels like this beer might be slightly less well connected than other porters I've had recently. Like there's a, there's this thing that wants to be intense as you as you start maybe like dry coffee grounds and it's there right at the beginning and that's kind of all you can taste and then it kind of fades off and it's still there but but it's it's kind of losing steam and and leaving um and then you have a couple other flavors that kind of come in and um that's kind of the the the, the hazelnut spread um Maybe some kind of juiciness, continuing on this apple theme. Um, it's kind of uh, light, dried, light fruit juiciness. Um, and they're all kind of there. And then they just kind of, uh, they kind of take over. 
but there's not like a connection. It doesn't feel like they're working together. They're not in conflict. This is not a beer that's fighting in my mouth. So good on that. And then there's this syrup that comes like two thirds of the way through this syrupy note. It's almost like, like pancake syrup, not maple syrup, butter, butter syrup kind of stuff. And that kind of comes in and is this kind of oddly just disconnected sweetness that goes down the, like the back of your tongue and the back of my throat. Um, like with aspartame, aspartame, the artificial sweetener, you know, it has kind of that cloying back of the throat down the neck sweetness. I don't know if you taste that. I taste that. I can't stand diet sodas for that reason because the, the aspartame, aspartame, whatever, is it doesn't taste like sugar. <laughs> and it stands off all on its own and says, Hi, I'm weird sweet over here. Hi, will you be my friend? No, no, I won't be your friend. Um, so it has, it doesn't have an aspartame flavor, but the sweetness that comes through is slightly to the kind of syrupy side of things. And it starts on the back of the tongue and down the throat, the same way the the same way that aspartame does. So this is an okay beer. Um, standing on its own, there's there's some interesting interesting flavors going on. It has that nice roasty coffee bite. It has this kind of juicy middle. It has a sweet tail. And even now, as I'm like breathing it up, it has this actually really good um, like brown toast like you put wheat bread in the toaster you know and you toast it on on setting four um and and so it got decently dark but not burned and so you have that sweet nutty breadiness and that's actually kind of nice coming back up and i appreciate that but it just feels as though especially in comparison to other porters that i have had recently there's a little bit of disconnect between the flavors here all the flavors are good None of the flavors are fighting. They're just not working together. It is what it is. This is me and my perception of this beer. Take that as you will. <laughs> but I'll still have more. Because it's certainly not a bad beer. Do not, do not hear me say that. It's a good beer. Just, you know, for what it is. And on that note, I'll catch you on the flip side after I do my sign out. Hey, this is Matthew. I've been chewing the brew, drinking Western Reds Brewing's Hazelnut Porter and pondering why it is that hazelnuts and porter are a thing. Well, they are a thing. And I will now catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>